Hi there. I'm Miss Heather from the Children's Museum of Green Bay. Thank you so much for supporting us through getting one of our winter busy bags. I hope you're having a wonderful winter break. I know I sure am. And I hope you have snow where you are. Snow is one of my favorite things to play in. How about you? I um, put some little hot chocolate packets in your busy bag. So why don't you go ahead and pause me, make some hot chocolate, and let's read a story together. Okay, are you ready? If you don't know, I have a cat. His name is Oliver. He really likes hot chocolate, so he'll probably be running around here trying to get at my hot chocolate while we read a story together. Okay. The story we're going to read today is called The Snowy Day, and it's by Ezra Jack Keats. And Viking is our publisher, and it's about some, some fun things that a boy named Peter does out in the snow, and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, here we go. The Snowy Day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and he looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. It's always exciting when you wake up and see new snow outside. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for the walking. Mm -hmm. Just gotta put the snow somewhere. Crunch, 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 crunch. His feet, they sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. It's fun to make different tracks in the snow. I like to sometimes see animal tracks in snow too and guess what it is. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And then he found something sticking out of the snow to make Good new track. What do you think he found? It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, right on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet, anyway. So he made a smiling snowman. Nice smile. And he made snow angels. Mm, I love to do both of those things. Do you? He pretended he was a mountain climber and he climbed up a great big tall heapy mountain of snow and he slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another and he packed it round and firm and he put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. He put a snowball in his pocket. What do you think is going to happen to that snowball? And he thought and he thought and he thought about them. Those snowballs in his pocket he's thinking about. Before he got into bed, he went to look in his pocket, but his pocket was empty. The snowballs weren't there, and he felt very sad. They had melted, yeah. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone, and the snow was still everywhere, and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Ooh, look at how tall that snow is there. 
the end. I really like that story about the snowy day. Peter did all sorts of fun stuff outside and I hope that you're having fun and enjoying some of the snow and outdoor activities. Um, some of you may be snowshoeing or ice skating or doing all sorts of fun stuff like that. It's just fun to be out and to listen to all the sounds that are out there, the, the crunching and the scraping and all of that good stuff. I hope that you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Again, I'm Miss Heather with the Children's Museum of Green Bay. Enjoy the rest of your winter break and stay warm and cozy and enjoy your hot chocolate. I'll see you later. Bye.